cold mounting now. Um, in this drawer here, we have these green cup molds and some mineral oil, and they've got some swabs on the inside. In this drawer, we've got some popsicle sticks, some wax cups. Um, and if we want to hold a sample like this, this is like a piece of bandsaw blade. If I want to get a cross section of the sample, so if I want to look at this surface, I need to hold it that way inside the cup. So they have these little plastic clips, and they just come as little circles. You're gonna find the end that's that you can unroll and let it go and tuck it back under and then just roll it a little bit so that they're about even on both sides. Then you're going to stick the sample in between those so that it holds it like this and put it on the countertop and just push the clip down so it will sit everything will sit at the same height. Then we're going to take the bottom off of this cup and you'll see the little bevel that's cut here. We're going to push that with our thumb so it pops off. Um, we're actually going to oil the mold first. So, just a, there's a lot of oil on here. We just need a very tiny amount. So, try to get a small amount on the inside of this cup. That will act as a release agent. Then pop the bottom off. The sample right in the middle. And put the outside back on. And then we're going to move everything to the fume hood because the resin that we work with has some vapors that are not good to breathe in. So this is LecoSet 100. We're going to put, um, there's a ratio of two scoops of powder to one scoop of liquid. If I only have one sample, I can do one scoop of powder and half a scoop of liquid. So put that right into the wax cup. Let's open up this. There's a separate scoop here. So I'm going to do half half a scoop of this one. Put it inside the resin and stir it up. You're going to get something that's like a soft set jello. So right after it starts to get thick, right? After that powder is incorporated, go ahead and crease the cup and pour it in. Uh, one consideration is if I have a sample that is less dense than this, then it might float. So you want to be careful that either those are weighted down. Um, maybe if you have many samples that look alike, you want to label these so that you don't get them mixed up. And cap this stuff. Kind of smells like nail polish, acrylic stuff. Um, and this will take about 10 to 12 minutes to set. Um, and it'll feel hot and then you can pop the bottom off and take it out.